Hello everyone, my name is CMA Pankhtiwani. Welcome back to CMA Modules. Today we will be recording a video lecture on role of public accounts committee review of accounts. So in our previous two lectures, we have recorded 8.1 and 8.2. In this lecture, we will be focusing on 8.3. Public accounts committee is a committee of selected members of parliament constituted by parliament of India. What is public accounts committee? Public accounts committee is a committee of selected members of parliament. It is constituted by parliament of India. In Indian parliamentary form of governance, the legislature has the power to ensure that the appropriated money is spent economically, judicially and for the purpose for which it was sanctioned. So we have in the Indian parliamentary form of governance, legislature has the power, government has the power to ensure that appropriated money is spent economically, properly, judicially. Jaisa spend karna tha, waisa it is spent. So economically, judicially and for purpose for which it was sanctioned. Even though the Comptroller and Auditor General of India is to audit the accounts of government and to ensure proprietary of the money spent, yet its report is further examined by special committee of the parliament and it is known as public accounts committee. So there needs to be someone, okay, there needs to be some committee and that committee is known as public accounts committee. That public accounts committee is nothing but that committee will, will is selected by the parliament, members of parliament, committee is constituted by parliament of India, by the government. And committee looks after that the money, uh, government money is spent economically, judicially. Committee entrusted with the responsibility of examining the accounts of government. Government expenditures are thoroughly examined and ensured that the parliamentary limits are not breached. It examines the report of accounts of union government submitted by Comptroller and Auditor General of India to the President for purpose of auditing of the revenue and expenditure of the government of India. <coughs> Sorry, committee interested with the responsibility of examining. Committee needs to check here. Committee is interested with the responsibility uh, uh, about the examining of the gov accounts of the government. The government expenditures are thoroughly examined. Government expenditures are thoroughly examined. They are thoroughly checked and ensured that parliamentary limits are not breached. They ensure that parliamentary limits are not breached. They are not crossed. It examines the report of accounts of union government submitted by Comptroller and Auditor General of India. It does what? It examines the uh, reports of accounts of union government. It examines, it checks the reports of union government given by Comptroller and Auditor General of India. Remember, Comptroller and Auditor General of India is the auditor of government, auditor appointed by government to the president for purpose of auditing of revenue and expenditure of the government of India. The Public Accounts Committee in India thus ensures parliamentary control over government government expenditure. The Public Accounts Committee was first set up in India in 1921 under the Montag Claims for Reforms. The basic function of the committee had been to ensure that expenditure had been uh, incurred for the intended purposes as authorized by authority concerned. So we have Public Accounts Committee. What are the roles of Public Accounts Committee? Who is appointing Public Accounts Committee? Public Account Accounts Committee needs to do what? First committee was set up in 1921. Who, who went for it? So explanation about Public Accounts Committee is given. You can get a question, write a short note on Public Accounts Committee. Okay. Now we have Constitution of Public Accounts Committee. The committee consists of not more than 22 members comprising of 15 members elected by Lok Sabha every year from amongst its members according to the principle of uh, proportional representation by means of single transferable vote and not more than 7 members of Rajya Sabha elected by that house in a like manner are associated with the committee. So we have constitution of public accounts committee. Committee consists of what? Constitution means who all are there? How many total? How many members are there in that committee? So there are total 22 members comprising of 15 members elected by Lok Sabha every year from amongst its members according to the principle of proportional representation by means of single transferable vote and not more than seven members of Rajya Sabha elected by the house in like manner are associated with the committee. Thus the present PAC is joint committee of the two houses Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. Present public accounts committee is nothing but a joint committee of Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. Both the houses play a role together. Chairman is appointed by the Speaker of Lok Sabha from amongst its members of Lok Sabha. Since 1967, the Chairman of the Committee is selected from the opposition. 
earlier it was headed by member of ruling party however it is to be noted that minister is not eligible to be elected as a member of committee if a member after his election to the committee is appointed a minister uh, he ceases to be a member of committee from the date of such appointment so we have constitution of public accounts committee total number of members chairperson is appointed by whom by the speaker of lok sabha very very important from amongst the members of lok sabha and since 1967 chairman of committee is selected from the opposition okay a quick read so uh, second important answer com- constitution what is the constitution of public accounts committee so you have three to four points there then you have role of public accounts committee role regarding examination of comptroller and auditor general report the chief function of public accounts committee is to examine audit report of comptroller and auditor general so what is the chief function what is the important function of public accounts committee it is to examine the audit report of comptroller and auditor general okay it is the uh duty it is their duty to audit to check the report given by comptroller and auditor general after it is laid down in the parliament comptroller and auditor general assist the committee du- uh, during the course of investigation so committee will check okay from where these expenses are taken how this expenses are represented what is this represented what is this information from where it is taken so whatever assistance they need for understanding the audit report given by cag comptroller and auditor general of india that assistance will be given by the comptroller and auditor general of india role regarding unauthorized expenditures or excess expenditures in examining the report of comptroller and auditor general of india the committee has to satisfy itself that expenditures ne- made by the government were authorized by the parliament and expenditure under any head has not been crossed the limits of parliamentary authorization it is to be noted that every expenditure made by government must be sanctioned by the parliament so role regarding unauthorized expenditures or excess expenditures what do we have we have role regarding authorized expenditures or unauthorized expenditures okay un- uh, unauthorized expenditures or excess expenditures suppose i go for unauthorized expenditures i was not having permission to perform that expenditure and i committed that expenditure or the uh, sanctioned amount for performing that expenditure was 1 lakh i went for 1 lakh 20 in that case what will happen in examining report of comptroller and auditor general of india committee has to satisfy itself that the expenditures made by the government were authorized by the parliament and expenditures under any head has not crossed the limits of parliamentary authorization it is to be noted that every expenditure made by government must be sanctioned by the parliament thus it is the role of committee to bring to the notice of parliament instances of unauthorized expenditures or expenditures beyond sanction limits so we have role regarding unauthorized expenditures or excess expenditures how to deal with them okay um, then we have role regarding spending of money by ministries so the committee not only ensures ministries spend money in accordance with parliamentary grants so whatever grant is given you are allowed only 10% 5% 6% they have to act according to that it also brings to the notice of parliament instances of extra vagance loss in fr- uh, frustrate and fruitless uh, expenditure and lack of financial integrity so it will also bring into their notice that here the expenditure spent was little high it was not required here you did a silly mistake here you did a wrong decision in terms of money however the committee cannot question the policies of the government it only concerns itself with uh, execution of policy on its financial aspect then we have scrutinizing the audit report of public corporations new di- new dimensions has been added to the functions of public accounts committee by entrusting it with the responsibility of scrutinizing the audit report of public accounts committee okay so a new new dimension a new function has been added that is checking the audit report okay scrutinizing the audit report uh, the reports of public corporations okay then you have scrutinizing the working process of ministries and public corporations here in this process in examining the accounts and audits of ministries and public corporations committee gets the opportunity to scrutinize the process of their working it points out the weakness and shortcomings of administration of ministries and public corporations criticisms uh, of the public accounts committee 
draws attention this keeps the ministries and public corporations sensitive to the criticisms of public accounts committee thus it is wrong to suppose that public accounts committee is only on instrument of financial control it, it is as well as instrument of administrative control so that is scrutinizing the working process of ministries and public corporations now we have next answer next answer and last answer that is review of accounts so, so what public accounts committee is required to do they are required to review the accounts of the government companies so accounts of government com government companies set up by uh, set up under provisions of companies act are audited by comptroller and auditor general of india correct that we studied in our previous lectures in our previous chapters that accounts of uh, government companies are audited by cap comptroller and auditor general of india uh under provisions of section 143 of companies act 2013 under these provisions the comptroller and auditor general shall appoint statutory auditor of government company may conduct supplementary or test audit of accounts of government company and may and may comment upon the report of statutory auditor in addition he issues directions to the statutory auditors so what he does he conducts supplementary audit he he will provide um, he will be a statutory auditor to the government company he will also go for he may also comment upon the report of statutory auditor in addition he issues decisions to the statutory auditor regarding the manner in which the accounts of government company are to be audited the accounts credited the accounts certified by the statutory auditor appointed by central government on the advice of cag under the companies act 2013 are subjected to supplementary or test audit by officers of cag and cag gives this cag gives his comments or supplements the report of statutory auditors the companies act 2013 empowers the cag to issue uh, directions to the statutory auditors on the manner in which companies accounts shall be audited so we have review of accounts now what is there under review of accounts they have mentioned we have comptroller and auditor general or cag he is the auditor of government companies he will audit accounts of government companies he performs the role of statutory auditor then he will also go for any supplementary audit if required he also conducts uh, a report a statutory audit supplementary audit he will give you any uh, qualifications comments reviews okay any actions which needs to be taken accounts certified by statutory auditor appointed by central government on the advice of cag under companies act 2013 are subjected to supplementary or test audit by the officers supplementary audit test audit he'll go for supplementary audit test audit okay overall he shall appoint statutory auditor of government company and he may, he may also conduct supplementary or test audit of accounts of government company there are only 3 to 4 points and 3 to 4 points are repeated so that that was about review of accounts so we have completed 8.3 chapter here okay i'll come up with 8.4 chapter in our next video i hope you are comfortable with this lecture uh, there are four to five answers this chapter is little important from exam point of view thank you